Hi there. Today, I want to talk to you about one thing that's really important to me, and that is snare drums. I created the single drum theory uh, out of necessity to play more acoustic music, and uh, so choosing a snare drum was paramount. Um, playing with punk rock, I needed something to cut through the walls of guitars and the bass and make sure that it was not taking up too much of the frequency range and muddying up the overall tone. So. These are the three snares that are my go-to's. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about this one called the Big Cat. The Big Cat came out in mid-2000s. Uh, it is a very interesting snare. Uh, it's been often duplicated and obviously never quite replicated. This one has a couple mods, I'll go over that as well. Uh, first of all, the shell. Beautiful natural gloss on there. It's maple walnut, so it's very similar to the Saturn shell. I think it actually is the same uh, ply configuration. And then uh, the difference is the depth, okay? This is eight inches deep. This is one of the deepest snares a Mapex has ever made. Uh, the biggest feature that I love about it is it has an adjustable throw as well as the butt end has an adjust on it too so you can get your strainers just in the right spot of course here's the first mod the extra wide strainer uh, to give you a little bit more kind of snare sound out of that more snappiness and uh, the other big mod right away uh, originally this, this came out with chrome hardware and, and uh, triple flange hoops. And I love triple flange hoops, but on a snare drum, I love die cast hoops more. Uh, they have a little bit more response, they bring a little bit more bite to the snap, and they also bring a little bit more volume to the snare, which in some cases you really need because you've got to cut through all those guitars. With bad habits, it's a big thing. We've got a large bass rig, we've got massive guitar tones that this needs to cut through to show where the one is. Um, the other big change on this is I switched to black chrome. So the lugs are an aftermarket. Same with the uh, the hoops uh, and again die cast. So that's the, the big cat. One of my favorite snares. Alright, next up. The same shell. Yeah, that's right. I like maple walnut. It's one of my favorite tones. Uh, it's part of the Saturn series. This is one of the original Saturn snares. It's a 14 by 7 deep. And on this one, again, the big mod is using the, the wider throw uh, strainer just to give it a little bit more body. And again, it's got both sides. It's got the adjustments on the butt end as well as the, the strainer end. So overall, an incredible drum. This one has a, an upgrade as well, uh, die cast hoops, maple walnut, again, you'd think that I really love the wood. This one's a little different, it's pretty special. 30 years ago, Mapex put, started putting out drums, and this is the anniversary snare drum for Mapex. They've always been very innovative with their wood. This is a walnut. It's based on one of the first snare drums they ever made, and it was a walnut snare drum. Uh, it is also similar to uh, the first snare drum that Chris Adler started using from Lamb of God and various other projects. And uh, this one is unbelievable. The quality of it is, is hands down probably one of the nicest snare drums in the medium price range of, you know, five to seven hundred dollars Canadian. Uh, there isn't another snare drum quite like it in the lineup, be it 100% walnut. It ships with the pure sound wires, so that's a huge upgrade. It has the adjustments on both ends. 
The other thing that I really like about it, it has multiple air holes, which gives it a little bit more life to the snare. So you've got one here with the 30th anniversary badge, and then you've got two more on this side, framing the Black Panther beautiful logo on this snare. It also has the Sonic Saber hoops, which again are a very cool piece. As you can see, they curve inwards, and they do save sticks, and they do have a resonance that's in between um, what I would say a triple flange hoop and a die cast hoop. So you still get the crack of a die cast, but you still get the warmth and uh, pliability of uh, for tuning in, in a uh, triple flange. So that's my collection of snare drums. You tell me which one's your favorite. I'm Jeff. Thanks for watching. Stay away.